Dodging is hard, so why not just tank all that damage and use rend and one-shot enemies? Well, in this build, you can. This is my uh, sign or bear build. We're using rend for insane one-shot damage and great survivability with some alchemy skills as well. Uh, let's go. Let me know in the comments which of the Witcher sets is your favorite. So my goal for this build was to make some sort of an alchemy combat hybrid because heavy armor lowers your stamina region. So it doesn't really make sense to use a heavy armor build that uses a lot of signs because signs use stamina and we have lower stamina region. So I was trying to figure out a way to make some sort of a hybrid combat alchemy build here. And this is what I've kind of gone with. And we're leaning heavily into the defense of the bear set. So the bear set itself, each piece reduces the amount of damage taken from monsters. Plus with the protective coating alchemy skill, we can reduce that by a further 15% as well. So with the right oils applied and having that, we're basically taking like virtually no damage from most monsters. Plus the mutation that we're using here also reduces the amount of damage taken when we have adrenaline points by up to 45%. So essentially in most encounters, it makes us practically unkillable, except against humans, they are still pretty dangerous because we don't get all of those monster buffs against the humans but we do still have really good survivability plus we're using quen in some regards as well so you've got that protection from there as well for offense because you do actually need to kill the enemies you can't just you know tank all the damage forever for offense we're using strong attacks here and we're really leaning into rend as well so rend is so strong and when you fully charge it you can hit for up to like 15k damage with this build so you can practically like one shot most things the downside here is that you've got to actually charge the ability right you know get brings it up above his head and takes ages to swing it anytime you take damage it'll just cancel the skill and you'll like lose all the stamina that you've spent trying to like charge this up this is where quen comes in really useful as well because it will stop you from being staggered as you won't take damage while quen is active but otherwise in terms of combat we're really just using the strong attacks and the occasional bombs to deal with some of the situations where there's just lots of enemies and we nearly kind of need to break them up because this build and strong attacks in general have such a slow attack animation it's good to have alternatives to deal some aoe damage in those kind of scenarios for the armor and weapons we're using the full bear set here and the benefits here for the witcher gear is when a quensine shield shatters there is a chance a new one will be cast at no stamina cost the bonus is increased by how many pieces you're wearing plus the six set which isn't super critical because we're not really buffing quen with this build the damage dealt for abilities involving quensine is increased by 200 percent it's really just that first one so really Realistically, you know, if you go into New Game Plus, you could change out your steel and silver swords to Arendite, that sort of thing, if you really wanted to. For runes, I'm using Severance on both of my swords to increase the range of Rend by 1.2 yards. And on the chest piece, I'm using Protection, so when you enter combat, you will just cast Quen for free without using Stamina. Gives you a little bit of flexibility if you wanted to cast something else. And then also, if, you know, you lose Quen very quickly, you can quickly cast it again. And for the other general rune slots, I'm really just using Quen Sign Intensity and Vitality Regen, just like a mixture of both of those, because my Vitality Regen is great in any build and Quen Intensity just helps that little bit extra as well. Let's zoom through some skills. We'll start with Strength Training to increase Strong Attack Damage, Crushing Blows to increase the Critical Hit Chance and Critical Hit Damage. Rend is the big one here. This will allow you to charge up an attack that will consume your stamina and it ignores enemy defense and increases the Critical Hit Chance by 60%. If you have additional Adrenaline Points as well, it'll also increase the damage. So that's how you get those massive like damage hit numbers from using Rend and that big wind up. The more stamina you use, the more damage it does, plus the Adrenaline points on top of that will also increase that damage even further then we're using sunder armor to ignore some of the enemy damage resistances and then we're also picking up resolve so we don't lose adrenaline points and dying so we basically don't die as well as razor focus so we instantly gain one adrenaline point at the start of combat which is beneficial for our mutated skin as well as using rent we're not using any science skills we're moving straight into alchemy and picking up poison blades so oil applied to blades gives a 15 percent chance of poisoning the target we're also using protective coating to add 15 percent protection against monsters when we do use the right oils personal preference skill fixation so then you don't have to reapply oils and you can have three oils applied to a weapon at one time i'm also using acquired tolerance tissue transformation mostly just to get to synergy though you do get some benefits from them but synergy and slotting that will give you an extra 50 percent bonus for all of the mutations that you do have slotted so extra attack power and extra vitality for this build in the general skills we're picking up the bear school techniques to increase our maximum vitality and strong attack damage as well as 
has rage management. So when our stamina isn't like high enough, we can actually cast signs with adrenaline points because we don't have a great amount of stamina regen. That's why it's beneficial here for this build. For the early game skills as you are leveling up with this build, I would actually focus on Quen rather than the alchemy line in the initial stages. So still keeping with, you know, our combat skills, leveling up strong attacks, as well as the battle trans line, and then actually go into Quen because of the value you get from that, especially on Death March. Though if you're not playing on Death March, it probably doesn't matter too much. But once you get further, like higher up into the game, you can then use a potion of clearance to reset all of your skill points and then actually level up into this way that we have here. But in those initial stages, Quen is definitely more valuable than actually just getting those alchemy skills because those first alchemy skills aren't like super critical in the very beginning. Some build tips for this build. Now, bombs are great for this build because strong attacks have such a slow attack animation. Just in general, it's very easy to get surrounded and basically, you know, just get stuck in like a loop of getting attacked by enemies. It's something that you don't notice much when you do use a lot of Quen is that when you are actually taking damage, you are always going to get like a little brief like stagger. So you, when you get surrounded and you're taking that damage, you can get stuck in that stagger animation. And bombs can really help with that because you can, you know, set enemies on fire or just like prevent them from attacking you with Northern Wind or something like that for a period of time. And you also get passive buffs to them just in general because we're using the alchemy skills. So bomb damage is increased. For potions, I am really using Thunderbolt and the general healing potions here for the most part. You don't really need too much else. For decoctions, there is a couple that I would recommend. The Night Wraith decoction is great to increase Geralt's maximum vitality as well as the Ekamara decoction. So damage dealt will regenerate vitality. So you can keep that vitality like in the positive as well. Water Hag isn't bad to damage dealt is increased when vitality is at maximum, but you're not really going to be at maximum vitality a lot in this build because you will take some damage. And we're kind of not necessarily leaning into avoiding damage with Quen, but you know, just being able to take damage with this build. We're going to be super tanky and be able to take some hits with this build. And that's kind of the focus there. As you move into new game plus and you get enough skill points, that is when I would then go back a little bit into the early game kind of route and getting the Quen skills. You can then go like say the two red mutations like we have, go one green for the oil buffs and then one for Quen. You could also then grab the undying mutation and become basically like completely unkillable, but it does require such a high skill investment in general that getting to that like high enough level and that amount of ability points will take you more than one playthrough. But if you're just in that one playthrough and like, you know, in that end game kind of state, this is kind of where that build will go. I also wouldn't be using Rend in like group scenarios as well because you will take damage and enemies will hit you just because of how slow that attack is. Rend is great for like 1v1s, especially against like big monsters, that sort of thing. And with the extra range of Rend, you can occasionally like get enough distance away from enemies so that like they're, you know, far enough away they're not going to attack you, build up that Rend and then like kind of like zoom forward and kill them. It's actually really satisfying to do because of the extra range you get with the Severance Rune. And lastly, I'm thinking about doing a Viper build so that I can complete the like holy trinity i guess of like all of the witcher sets as we've done one for every single one so far so let me know if you are interested in some sort of a viper build though it doesn't have a grandmaster set so it's not as valuable as like the rest of these sets that we've been talking about but it is still pretty decent i may do like some new game plus stuff if that's something that interests you as well so let me know in the comments about that too thank you for watching this video till the end thank you to our members for supporting the channel my name is norza and i hope you have a great day